Welcome back once again, friends. We have been building the secret messages project. As part of that, we have learned about string slicing, which is the act of creating substrings from a given string. In this video, we are going to extend that discussion a little bit and look at a situation where we will slice strings with a negative step value. In fact, this is very interesting because this has the effect of reversing the string in some interesting ways. So what we are saying is that, for example, something like eight down to two, in steps of minus one. So we'll see the effect of this negative one. Uh, and as before, we'll take many, many examples to clarify what we're trying to do. First thing first, let us remember the basic statement, basic format of the slicing statement, which is that X new, which is a new string being created is X square brackets, start index, stop index, and step size. Like I said, we are going to look at situation where the step size is negative, which means that we are going to say start from somewhere on the right and count backwards, right? So when the step size is negative, we are basically going to count backwards, which means that we'll effectively reverse the string. But there are two things to be noticed here. Number one is that when the step size is negative, the start indexed must be more than the stop index. And why is that? Because remember, I'm saying, for example, start here and then go backwards, right? So for example, uh, this is zero. So if I look at this, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, right? So I can say, if I start here, I start here and then say I go down all the way to say zero or to say two, no matter what, the start index must be more than the stop index. And number two, as before, we are going to stop before actually reaching the stop index. Now this part is important. As before, let us look at examples so that things become clearer for all of us. So here I have my, you know, my program that I've been working on. Uh, I run this and I get X. So a statement st string X is basically Python is cool. Now let us say we start slicing this by using a negative index. The first example I'm going to take is X eight colon two colon minus one, right? Before we get started, let's, you know, before we run this command, that is, let us understand what this statement is doing. I'm saying here the start value is X, stop value is two, notice eight is more than two. So start is more than stop and the step size is minus one. So what we are telling our, you know, what we really want here is that start from the index number eight, go down to index number two in steps of minus one, which means that go to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and stop there. Because remember the uh, slicing stops before actually hitting the end index, right? So if I did this, I'm going to get something called C no. And why is that? Because X of eight is indeed S. So I got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, which is the H. Notice how by doing this, in fact, I have managed to reverse my string. And that's quite interesting. Let's take one more example. Let's say I did, uh, you know, probably I did uh, maybe eight. Uh, so let's not do eight. Let's say I did 10 to say zero to minus one, right? Now, if I did this, I got, again, something interesting. So what did I get, right? I said 10, which is C, start going down. Now notice here, I put a zero, which means that my in my slicing will stop before I actually reach this element, right? Before zero, which means my last element would be in fact one, and that's what I see over here, right? Now, we can always put, say, a bigger step size. Say if I put minus two, the same thing is going to happen. However, this time the step will be minus two, which means that I'm going to go to element 10, element eight, element six, element four, element two. And I'm going to stop there. And that's what is going on here. And notice my last element is two. So I've got in the reverse order, I've got CS space OP because started from here and went backwards. Uh, let's take, uh, you know, maybe one more example. Let's say if I did say, uh, you know, say for instance, seven to say three to say minus two, right? Now I get in and that's because here really I'm getting seven. Step is two, step is minus two, sorry. So I go to seven, five and my slicing must stop here because slicing stops before I actually hit this number, right? So slice stops there and that's why I get this in. Now, we saw previously that we could choose not to give 
some of these you know uh, indices that we uh, you know say for example start index and the stop index right or the step now in here i must keep a step because i'm talking of a negative step but what happens if i do not give let's say the start index now once again once again, it's very logical that if I do not give a start index and I'm going, so let me make it say minus one and I'm going in the reverse direction, it's logical, it's sensible for me to assume that this is going to do slicing all the way from the end of the string, right? Which means if I did this, I got look, see, no, and that's because slicing started all the way to the end, right? So it's L-O-O-C. L O O C space S I space N O and it stopped there because my end index was three. So I stopped at zero, one, two, three. Uh, I didn't cover three. I stopped at in fact four. Right. So that's what happened here. What happened? Let's say I did not give a stop index also. Right. Now this is very interesting. If I did not give a stop index, again logical. If I'm starting with a negative step, I'm starting wherever I'm starting. If I'm not given the stop index here it must mean that I'll go all the way to the beginning, right? And if I did this, in fact, you will notice that the string has been flipped, right? And because that has happened, because, you know, um, really I started from the this end, I went all the way to the beginning and with a step of minus one, right? Now I can also do say step of say minus two, in which case I'm going to get every second element, right? So I'm going to say, I'm getting say L, O, then I'm getting a space, then I, then an N, then h and then y right so it's making sense now before i wrap this up i do want to highlight that if you remember we can also index the strings using negative numbers right so let's say i can you know i had done say a statement of the sort say minus 5 down to minus 8 with a step of say minus 1 right now first thing first let us understand what this means right remember Index of minus one means the last element of the string. So what we are telling is that, hey, look, go to index minus five, which means minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Keep index, keep slicing until you hit, uh, uh, till you reach before this minus eight, right? Which means I'm going to do, I'm going to start at minus five, minus six, and minus seven, right? So this was, remember, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five is a space, minus six, and minus seven, because I must stop the indexing before I actually hit the minus 8, right? So if I did this, I'm going to get space followed by SI because really that's what I got here. Remember, there was an SNI here. Now convince yourself of this. Remember, however, that the basic rule that start should have been more than stop is being followed here, even though I've gone negative in the indices, right? Now, like I said, uh, negative indices useful but for slicing purposes that we are doing you know it's okay to stick with positive indices if that's what you find comfortable uh, important is to realize that when we are putting a negative step we are going backwards and the start must be more than the stop and with that it's clear actually let, before i go there let us just see you know what happens if i don't follow this basic rule right let's say i say you know say two to say 12 and colon minus one right now notice here i'm not following the rule that Start should be bigger than stop. So I'm saying start at 2, go to 12, but it steps of minus 1. It doesn't make sense. So in fact, I'll end up with an empty string, right? Nothing came out of this operation because I did not follow the rule that I had. Yeah. Uh, again, please do not try to memorize this. The right way to do this is to practice. Give yourself some strings and keep trying this. Keep trying different, you know, uh, uh, let's say combinations of start and stop and step. And each time, Convince yourself why the answer is the, the answer that you are getting. Why is the right answer the answer that you are getting? Look at the string indices like we were doing here. Please convince yourself and you will find that this is really this will become second nature as you do it more and more. I hope you found this useful. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.